Hi everyone, my name is Jean-Christophe Chouinard. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install uh, WordPress on an add-on domain in cPanel. The plus value of using an add-on domain in Green Geeks is that you can add other websites to your existing server infrastructure and not pay additional costs every time you want to create a new website. So here I will show you exactly step by step how you can add a new add-on domain to your existing server infrastructure and create a new website. So here I'm connected to my Green Geek accounts. So for this tutorial, I will assume that you already have a server hosted on Green Geeks and you already have your own domain and whatever, and you're simply trying to add a new domain to that server configuration. So now what I will do is I will go in cPanel here. So I will take my website and go into my cPanel. So I'm now in my cPanel interface. And I don't know if you've added an add-on domain in the past, but it used to be named add-on domains. But if you want to add one, it's now consolidated into the domain section. So you want to go here and click on domains. I am now in the domain management interface. And what I will do is I will click on create a new domain. So from here, what we want to do is we want to add our new domain. And one thing you want to make sure to do is here uncheck this box. The reason for that is that you don't want to use the same route because otherwise your content on Mammy and Peppy will show the same as what JC and Schwinar is showing. Instead, what this actually does is it creates a subdomain on mammyandpeppy.com and it kind of redirects to your uh to your host, which is mammyandpappy.com, which is why you allow, which is what allows you to create multiple websites on the same domain. So now we can create, pl click on submit, and once this is done, we can click on list domains. Here, when I reload the page, I can see that Mammy and Peppy was uh, already created. One thing is interesting here is because we already enabled HTTPS redirect in the future, any new domain that I will create will inherit that uh, HTTP to HTTPS redirect automatically. Here, coming back to our cPanel, I will show you how to install WordPress on your add-on domain. So the first step is you go into tools and you scroll down the bottom and you will find uh, the WordPress Softaculous installation. So you click here. And from here, you will click on install now. Now you will need to choose the domain where you want to install uh, WordPress. So you will click on that down arrow. And from here, I will select, so I have one out of two. The one I want to install it is on the domain. So once this is selected, what I can do is I can change my site name so I can do whatever I want. So this is for my parents. I want to do this. So it's arts. So I can do whatever I want. I can put the language here. My parents speak French. So I want to move this to French. What plugins do I want to install? I could install whatever I want here. The only thing I would do is I would install GeneratePress because I will bid, build my website on GeneratePress. And then I can click on install. Before you click on install, just make sure that you go here and copy your password and keep it somewhere self, safe. You can also change the admin username just for increased security to whatever you want. So let's go ahead and click install. So it will take some time, so let's come back later. Sweet, now WordPress should be installed on my website, so you can go here and search for your website and say, And now I can see how my webs, my add-on domain was created and how I have inst WordPress installed on it. So this is it. We now have installed WordPress on an add-on domain and have multiple domains on a single uh, web server, allowing you to build multiple websites at scale and save costs. See you in the next tutorial.